crossover or SUV. In this video, I'm going to show you what the difference is between the two. Before I begin the comparison, let me introduce you to these two cars. This car over here is a uh, 2016 Nissan Pathfinder, which is owned by my aunt. And this is my 1995 Toyota 4Runner SR5 V6. Now let's get on to the comparison. Now the term SUV is actually used rather loosely in the car industry. Some people would actually consider a crossover a standard SUV. But in reality, let's just be honest with here, even though it's used very loosely, that's not an SUV. That's a crossover. That right there is a true SUV. I'll tell you why. Now if you look at these two cars, they kind of do look similar uh, in size. Aside from the, you know, this is from 1995, this one's from 2016, but let's just put those aside. You can also mistake in this thing as an SUV. Really, honestly, I also made that mistake as well. But the difference between a crossover and an SUV, the major difference is this thing is based off a car's platform and this one is based on a truck platform. So this right here, since it's based off a car's platform, it's essentially a unibody platform, which means the frame and the body of the car is made into one piece. And that's why in the crash test ratings, their unibody cars are usually rated higher in crash test. Now, SUVs like my 4Runner, this is actually used a body on frame chassis platform, which means the frame and the body itself are separate pieces. They make the frame and then they make the body as a separate piece and then they slap the body on top of the frame. Hence the name body on frame. So why do people want a crossover or why do people prefer an SUV? Well, let's just put it this way. People, especially here in the United States, everybody, if you ever drive in the United States, or you know, if you ever live in the US, you'll see a lot of the cars being driven today are mainly SUVs and crossovers. So, but why do people want a crossover to begin with? Well, some people like the high riding, high riding feel of an SUV, but they don't like the handling and the, the weight that a standard body on frame truck platform gives you. So what manufacturers do is they design an SUV, quote unquote, uh, based off a car's platform and cars like the Nissan Pathfinder in this particular generation is what they give you. So you can still have the high riding driving experience and comfort without really having to go with a heavy body on frame platform. One more thing before I end this off, if you guys are wondering what the difference between a unibody and a body on frame, if you're actually wanting to identify if your car is body on frame or unibody, check underneath here. Usually if you see a frame, a piece of frame that's separated, that's usually a body on frame. But if it's not, it's a unibody. My 4Runner kind of gives it away. Uh, this is a little bit harder, but if you look over here in the rear, right here see this little bar right here that's the frame that's the chassis of the car so this upper part above this frame is the body so hence the name body on frame so that's the difference between a crossover and an suv so like i said suv is actually used rather loosely in the car world but just to let you know, that's not an SUV. This is an SUV. That's a crossover. So, the correct term to you call a crossover, another correct term is actually called a CUV or crossover utility vehicle, whereas SUV stands for sports utility vehicle. So, those are the main differences between the two. So, once again, if a utility vehicle is based off a car's platform, like this Nissan Pathfinder, that's a crossover utility vehicle, CUV. If a utility vehicle is based on a body on frame platform like my 4Runner, it's a sports utility vehicle or an SUV. Once again, CUV or crossover, SUV. You got it? Unibody, utility vehicle, CUV, crossover. Body on frame, utility vehicle, SUV.
hope I cleared things up for you guys. Thank you.